Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about Spring Boot, SAML token and Okta and we'll see how can we use these three technology all together to authenticate and authorize a user. So Spring Boot is one of the trending technology these days and Okta is most widely used authentication and authorization. Take you through an example step by step process and then we'll see how can we use these three things to achieve our business objective. All right, so we'll try to create a demo application. We'll try to authenticate a user through Okta. We'll try to fetch user profile from Okta using SAML. All right, so that being said, let's begin the video. All right, so now here on my left hand side, you can see the official portal of Okta. So we'll go through this article here and I'll try to implement right here so that you guys can see and try to implement same. But this article is not complete. So we'll work on the same article and we'll see how to fetch the user profile, how to fetch the details or attributes from user profile, which we are going to set up in the Okta. So we are just not only going to implement this article, we'll do a one more step ahead, which is you won't find anywhere on the internet, not even in, in any article. So I want you to watch this complete video until end. So you'll get to know more about. So let's begin by creating a new Okta account. So I'll copy the URL from here. I'll go here. So first of all, we need to have the developers account. Click on sign up. All right, now we need to put some more details here. So role, let's consider developer the map and select Java. Continue. It says verify your email address. So I will just verify this email ID. I'm just verifying myself. So I'm just trying to log in my Gmail account so that I can activate my Okta account. So you can see here, I've got a link here to activate your Okta. Click on that. So you have to follow same. Now you need to copy this particular thing dev. So this is a very important thing. Let me just reset my Okta account password. I am just creating a new password. So this is done. Now you need to copy this particular URL because we need this one later. So I'll just. So here we are done with the very first step. Now we need to create a SAML application on Okta, right? So we'll go down. So this is how it should look like. So I'll go to the classical UI and we'll add a new application here. So I'm just following whatever is mentioned here on the left hand side. So let's go and create a new app. Web application and we need to select SAML 2.0. Open ID connect is the another option will but we'll come to this option later on in the next video. As part of this video, we'll use SAML 2.0. Create a new app. Now here we need to give the application name. So I'll we'll just follow the as is Spring SAML, the application name and simply click on okay if you want you can just upload an image for your application but for now we'll just simply click on next now next thing is that we need to uh, supply some urls because we are going to do this development on our, on our local machine so we'll just keep the same details single sign on url and we need the audience url so i'll copy and paste this one here you can see the same here also Okay, so now let's click on next. So here you simply select this one. I am an Okta. The very first option for the internal app. And this is the internal app that we have created. Okay. And click on finish. So now we have the similar window, exactly same. We need to copy the metadata. So what you can do is simply right click on this URL and click on copy link address. All right. So let's go to our notepad and I'll paste this in there. So this is what do we call this metadata. So I'll copy this one. 
URL. We would need this particular URL later point of this video. Let's see what is next. Now we need to assign users. So here we are done. Let's go to the assignment tab and we need to add people. So you click on assign, assign to people. So I'll copy myself here. Username, save and go back. Done. So now we have one user. Okay. So here we are done with the uh, setup that we need to do in Okta. Now we need to create the Spring Boot application. All right. So what you can do is either you can go ahead and use Spring Start or Spring .io, a portal to create a Spring Boot best web application, or if you want, you can do the same on on your local machine. Right. So what I will do is we need these dependencies security web time leaf dev tools right so what i will do i'll simply go here and let's go ahead and create a new spring boot web application and let me just call it as octa saml maven java 8 jar and everything is fine so i'll just put octa com dot Octa dot sample. This is my group, and I'll keep same for my package name. Next, now here you need to add security, which is like Spring Security, Spring Security, Web Dependency, Spring Web. We also need the Time Leaf dependency to create a UI, and in the end, we need Dev Tools. So it will just take a minute because your ID is downloading the required jars and libraries. Okay, so it's done. So what I will do, I'll simply go to the pom.xml file. We need to make some changes here in this pom.xml file. So what I will do is that. Now as per this article, we also need to add spring-security.sml.dsl dependency, which is not available at the moment. So we'll just add it manually. Okay, and to make it, make it work, we also need to add the repository, which we'll just add here, just before the build. Okay, so now let me just go ahead and uh, update so that we can have all the jars and everything in place. Now, next thing as per this article, that we need to go and create these entries in our application.properties file that you can find here under resources currently it's a blank nothing is there so i'll simply put on all these details now if you see here port everything is fine we need to update this particular url so that will do or we'll come back to this url in a moment all right so let's move forward now again if you see that we need to generate a key store for our project Right. So what it says that you go to your resources and create a folder called SAML. So I'll, I'll go here and I'll simply create a new directory here and I'll call it SAML because here we are going to generate our key tool. Now here we need our command prompt to run this particular command. Okay, so let me show you what do we have here in this particular command. So here is the complete command. What it says that this particular command key tool, it will generate a key store with this name key store dot JKS alias is spring and the other things. So when you run this particular command, you also need to supply a password. So we need to keep that password safe because if you see here, we have put the alias spring, which you can see here and the password to generate this particular key store is secret. So I will, I'm going to use the same password, but if you guys want, you can uh, change this password as well. You can put whatever you feel like. All right, so now I'm just going to open the command prompt and I will run this particular command. But before that, I have to go here to this particular path. All right, so here is my command prompt. So first I'll go to the SAML, the path. So you see here, we are inside the project Okta SAML under resources and the SAML is the directory where we are going to create the 
key store all right now i'm just going to copy the command and i will run the command here okay so here it is hit enter now it says that key tool is not recognized okay so for this one you need, need to make sure that you have java in place as this particular command will not run for you here so what i just did is that i just set the java path here until bin because we have key tool inside the bin folder now let me just rerun the command and let's see how it goes okay this is working fine right so you may have the same problem if you do not have your java path set in your environment variables in case if you do not have you can temporarily set or you can come back here later as well now here as i told you earlier that you need to pass the your password here to generate the key store and i have just entered secret because i have to put this put the same password in our application dot properties file now for the next option i'm passing i'm not passing any value or it's a blank so again here in the last option you need to pass yes so it says in and everything and then correct then you say yes okay so it says that enter key for or return if same as key store password okay so it says that uh, there is a warning key store format it is recommended to migrate to pks12 and all all right so here we are done with this particular process i'll simply click on exit all right so we are done until here now we need to create security configuration.java file in our project so i will do that in a moment let's go and create a new file so for now i'll just keep the file as is security configuration even we'll copy the code as well from this particular article but don't worry i will explain what the this code is doing see so if you see here these values security saml 12 metadata url key alias key password port and key store so all these values are coming from your application dot properties file as we have already mentioned these values now we need to update the metadata url so that we'll do in a moment and next in the configure this is the function so if you see you may have some problem if you do it manually you may have some problem with this particular saml so don't forget to import this particular import it should be there to make it work all right so now if we have put the key store uh, details key store path password alias and everything and here is the host name so it says currently we are going to test the particular program on our local host and the port number so it will take the port number from the application dot properties file which we have mentioned here 8443 all right and here is the path of the metadata url which we have mentioned here and update the metadata url so we have copied this particular url already okay so here is the metadata url i'll simply copy and paste this one here save now in case if you do not know how to get it i have already shown this one but in case you have any doubt what you can do is so what you can do is you can just go to your application go to sign on tab here and here you see saml 2.0 so if you see here identity and metadata provider just right click on this one and copy link address so if you copy this thing and let me just paste this one here so you will see same details here as it is so whatever you have copied here earlier you have got same details right so i will just delete from here okay so here we are done with the setup here we are done with the security config file now we need to add a controller so what i will do is We'll just follow the article for a few more minutes so now we need to create the index control so when you are successful like when everything is fine this piece of code will be invoked and it will decide what to do with the what to do after the verification right so i'll just copy everything from here as it is and i'll update our index controller so we don't have anything else what this particular guy is doing is that on root just redirect to the index page so this is your view name so as of now we don't have anything called index so we are going to create one so what i will do is let's go to the templates folder so let me just scroll down here and you see here we have a small index dot html file so i'll go to templates and i'll let me just create new html file i'll go to others and html page so let's keep the same name as well index dot html and click on finish so let's copy the hello 
all right so here we are done now we need to run our application and then let's see how it goes but before that what i will do is let me just clean our project right so let me just start this application now here you can see octa ml app refresh i will just clean and build again let me clear everything now i will rerun spring boot app i am not expecting any error at the moment All right, so here you can see that your application has already started on port number on Tomcat and on port number 8443, which we have mentioned in our application dot properties file, right? Now, to access this particular application, we need to go to the local host and then port number 8443 as mentioned here. So if you want, you can either copy, but just don't forget that you add HTTPS secure. With Okay, so let me open a new tab here and I will just put our localhost. So click on advanced and click on proceed to localhost. Now, if everything is good, it will ask you to log into Okta. Now here you can see a response. Hello, Samuel, that is what you wanted to see here. Because I have already signed in, so it did not ask me to log in. But if I log out and then try to retry, it will ask me, okay, to log out first. So what I will do is I'll simply close this browser and I'll reopen a new tab. Okay. So here I have opened a new private window because I wanted to show you guys that it will ask you to key in your Okta account ID and password that you can see here, right? So here you can see, hello, Samuel, that is what you wanted to see, right? So what does it mean that we are able to authenticate a user by using SAML token and Okta. Okay. And our application is completely based on a Spring Boot. So this is the one part of this video. But if you see here, there is no way for us to see the user details, right? You can't see anything coming from Okta. So the next question, which is not part of this particular article shared by Okta team. Now I'm going to continue from here and I will show you guys how to fetch the details from user profile all right so before that we'll go to our octa account just follow me here so if you guys remember i have asked you to copy this particular url i'm going to log in here again one more and then i'll go to applications so we have one application here so if i go to general and let me just see let me just do it one by one. So this is good. Save. Click Samuel settings. So even this part is good. Okay, here. So here we are going to key in some uh, details, some information. First name and I will just pass the value as well. Or I think it will get from my profile. So I'll keep this one as is. Let me add last name. So I'm expecting these three values coming from the user profile but if you want you can add a group as well like because you may have certain groups in your application like an admin user supervisor and a user, uh, user just belongs to the user group right so you can have multiple groups of these three properties from the octa and then we'll come back here again okay so i will will we'll add few more properties like group and all later but for now let me just save this one and then we'll see whether we can fetch these values or not right so i'll simply click on next and finish okay so now what i will do is let's go to our ide and then we'll make some code change here i will just stop our application and i'll go to our index controller because this is the thing where you will be landed once you are done with the authentication so i will add some code here let me all right, so here I have just modified our class, our controller class to add these two lines, which says use first one is here expiring user name authentication token. And then because we, we need this particular token to get the sample credentials. So I have added these three changes here. You can see one is this one and second is these two lines. Now, once you have this particular attributes, you can iterate these attributes to fetch the attributes or properties from the user profile so i've done that i'm trying to fetch email first name last name and group all right so we have already set up these three properties and uh, we'll work on group later 
right so now if i go and i've also modified one more thing if you see here i have used a model and i'm setting up these properties in my in in the model okay so if i go to the our ui which is this one index.html here i have put some time leaf code just to print these values email first name last name group and all right so what i will do is i will just restart our application and then i will re-log in right so let me just stop this one stop okay so i'm just going to first i'll just clean and now i'm just going to start our application okay so this looks good now i will just go back to the browser so here i will first log out myself as it will not work so i'm going to re-login or you can see like what i will do i'll simply go to the localhost 8443 where we have our application right now i will just put the octa login here and i will simply key in my password okay now here you can see right welcome this is my email id which is again coming from the user profile email first name and last name but if you see i don't see anything called group or role here because we did not get those values from octa because we did not configure right so now let's go and create a group and we'll try to retrieve that group as well because as per your business demand you can have number of users and each single user can belong to particular group so you also need to have that group as well okay so let's go and set up one so i'll go back and log in our octa account i'll simply go to admin and from there i'll go to applications so this is our application and if you see here if i go to assignments under groups i don't see anything like we don't have any group so what i will do i'll simply first go and create a group here so add a group so i'm just going to create a group so for example i'll just call this as octa saml app supervisor my group name is supervisor for a supervisor role okay so this is right here super visor level access add so we have a one group so if i click here so there is no user so what i will do let me just add a user manage people and i'll put my name here and save so now this particular group this particular user is part of this particular group which is this one so i'll go back to the groups now i'll go back to applications and i'll just click on our application and then i'll go to the assignments and then groups so here let me just assign to a group now you can see we have a group called octa ml app supervisor assign and then done so you will see a one okay so our user is belongs to this particular group now i should see the group as well okay so what i will do let's go to the applications click on applications and go to general let's modify the saml settings next so let's call it as group and it starts with or equals or less and i'll put the group name here octa saml app supervisor so so if you simply put some text here it will not work you need to have an exact group with this name in octa all right now what i will do i'll simply save and click on finish let me log out myself close so now what i will do is i'll just go back to the code and i will simply modify our controller class but before that let me stop our application okay so now what i will do i'll go to the controller class and here i'm expecting a group as well with the small z let me save let's go to the ui okay here also i'll 
because this is what I have configured in our Okta account, right? SAML role is not there because we did not configure. So I'll take this out. Okay, so now I'm just going to just, I'll just clean or build or let me just rerun our application. So let's see how it goes. I am not expecting any error at the moment. Okay, so this seems good. Let's go and uh, test our application. So I will just, uh, okay, let me just open another tab and I'll put here localhost. If you see here, we have HTTPS, okay? So just make sure you put the correct URL. Now it will ask me to log in. So I will just put on my Okta ID and password. And my password is, you can guess, sign in. Okay, so, okay, you can see the group as well, right? So this is how you can use, make use of Spring Boot to create your application and then SAML token Okta to authorize and authenticate a user, right? So what I will do is you can play with this particular piece of code. The piece of code which you will not find or where you can have trouble is how to fetch the user profile. So this particular piece of code will help you a lot. And I want you guys to try out. You can just go ahead and create one more, like few more attributes. And then you can play, you can print out those attributes like roles as well and everything. All right, so I will share the code. I will attach, you can find the link to download the code in the video description. All right, so thank you for watching and bye for now.